viewers, this is Paul here. Today we're going to continue our tutorials on the color management under control panel. But first of all I'm going to change the background here. I want to set that background. Let's see here. There we go. Set as background. Oops. It's tiled. I guess that'll have to do. Hmm. Maybe I'll change that. Going into the desktop backgrounds and we'll just say fill. Save changes and exit. There we go. It's a little gaudy but it's going to be useful shortly. Now let's go to the control panel and we'll start off by pulling up the color management Oops, off screen, but we'll drag it on. There we go. Now, the reason we're going to talk briefly about color management is to uh, show you what you can do to change it. Now, first of all, I need to know which monitor I'm dealing with, so let's identify monitors. Number three. So we'll use number three. There we go. Now, typically, Windows manages the colors uh, on the screen but sometimes programs will use uh, special color files and they usually uh, have a special name at the end of them. There's one here up on the screen. It's, uh, this is a one I've put together for uh, this demonstration. It's a .icc file. It's a profile. There's another type as well, but typically that's uh, the type you'd use. Windows itself doesn't always use these files which is ironic, which is what I'm going to demonstrate shortly. But applications like Adobe Premiere or other such graphics tools that uh, photographers and artists might use um, do actually use these management files so that they can get good color matching to, say, printouts or to the real world. For most of us, we don't care. But uh, let's go ahead here and install a new one. You see I've got the word uh, add option here that will disappear if I uncheck that use my settings for this device so I'm going to say yes do that so I'm going to add this color profile browse for it and then go to my desktop where it should find a whole bunch of things including this file up here in this list and if I choose that um, we'll have it set as a default profile and close and with any luck we should be able to see the difference let's just pull this thing up and open specifically the photo viewer there we go the photo viewer is showing everything a little off there we go. Windows itself is showing perfectly good normal colors, but the photo viewer is pulling it up using the incorrect uh, file formats that uh, I've installed. That's basically sending the colors through to this monitor incorrectly because I've told it to. Now let's see if I uh, pull that up again this time using uh, open with say Microsoft Office 2010 viewer there Microsoft Office viewer uses the default Windows color management not the one I've installed so there you have it that's uh, what happens if I just exit that uh, photo viewer for a minute and then go back into the control panel go back to color management oops off screen again let's drag it back on go to screen number three get rid of this one remove it yes and then go back to that one set as default and close and get rid of that don't think I'm going to need it again that's still 
correct, it will remain that way, but if we go to the sample pictures, right click and open with the photo viewer, hopefully it'll come up on the screen properly, there we go, and it's back to its normal color. So that's what color management will do for you, if you have some profiles that you want to adjust, um, you can do so. Now typically when you buy a monitor it'll come with a CD which may have these files on there, these ICC files, and install them automatically for you when you run your install disk. But typically we don't do that. Most people don't fuss with the colors on Windows. It's only photographers and people in the professional world that might be concerned with changing them. So, but for the likes of us boomers, it's nice to know that it's there. And if there's any problems, we could maybe you know, if its colors go awry, we can go into the color management and reset it back to a default. Uh, so that's really all we need to know for generally working with color. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.